New show is called Falling Skies. Now, we, you're you're no stranger to science fiction. We saw right. you in Terminator, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, you had a small part in one of my favorite shows, Burn Notice. People well. love that show. Are you going to come back to Burn Notice? Uh, maybe if they guest? asked me back, I would love to. Well, it was such a good experience. Um, Jeffrey Donovan, like what an actor, and just it's a fun show. Like Billy Campbell, I think that's right, Billy Campbell. Isn't that his name? His co-star. He's uh, anyways doesn't matter. But um, really good show. <laughs> and uh, Bruce Campbell. That's Bruce what it Campbell. is. He's a big science fiction guy. Yeah, yeah, Bruce is a crazy guy. Yeah, a lot of people ask Brisco, me about Briscoe Bruce. County. Is I remember him that. But let's talk about this other great show, Falling Skies. Premiere is set for Sunday night. You play a pediatrician, a doctor, but something tells me there's more to your character that we're going to see and it will be revealed in future episodes. Yeah, you know, I'm someone who, who who lost my family, but I become Noah Wiley's character, Tom Mason, sort of his his friend, his ally, his confidant. Something um, else going to go on to that between the relationship? A little, a little That's something. What I'm thinking. Very subtle, though, because you know we both lost our our, our spouses in the uh, the invasion, and you don't want to jump in the sack too quick. Right, but I, I we I, don't I, even jump in the sack. Well, We're way I too. You guys will be be extremely close by the end of the uh, this first season. Yeah, but I think they're both kind of uptight. They don't, Are you going to be a really fighter in future shows? Because basically you've been in the, the background, not really with a rifle or anything But yet. I didn't really want to. I actually wanted to do a project that was just something more something more internal, something more intellectual, not so just, you know, like femme fatale kind of role. I, I was I was yearning to do something that was just different and, mm-hmm. and something where I wasn't fighting and it wasn't about my physicality and it was more about just some personal essence and something more cerebral. You know what it, I mean? It, it is quite a departure from your other characters, like in Burn Notice or The Terminator, quite a departure. And I'm always kind of playing the cop. I, I must be good at like looking like I'm angry. Well, but I think there's a different side <laughs> that we're going to see. What's it like working with Spielberg as producing? Amazing. You hear that name, and then you think, yeah. okay, master of storytelling and of science fiction. And you know what? You feel safe. You know that you're going to be protected. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I kind of forget, and I purposely try to forget because I always try to stay humble and like focused on what I'm doing. And um, But it's not like I hang out and have beers with them or anything. I'd like to. <laughs> Maybe you'll hear this part of the interview. <laughs> now, the, the show really is not all science fiction. It's about the way that humanity is dealing with the invasion and how we discover ourselves and how we deal with others like What's us. always interesting in, in science fiction is not always just how we deal with aliens, but always how humans deal with other humans. Right. That's the, the, the I think for me at least, the most interesting part of watching things change is when you see that humans, you think they're the ones that are going to, you're going to stick together, but when people change, and you never know who you are until you're desperate, and, and hunger and pain and sorrow can bring out the worst in people or the best, and that's really what the essence of the show is, is is the aliens are, that's the obvious um, enemy, but what about when you turn on your own brothers and sisters? That's kind of like what compelled me to do this show. Very interesting show. What was your reaction, though, the first time you saw what the aliens looked like? Loved it. Immediate. Anything Immediate. like you thought when you were acting in front of the, the screen? Well, when I first saw it, they showed me a video and I was relieved. Because, you know, I was nervous, someone who had done science fiction, that, God, if it's TV, is it going to be hokey? Even right. though I knew it was Spielberg and I knew I felt safe, you still don't know if they have the money to kind of really develop it. And I was so relieved that the aliens looked scary and mysterious. But they also, when you see the skitter's face, um, they look sympathetic. They have a human-like quality, which makes it even more interesting because you think, wait, you're hostile, and it's easier to kill something you hate. But if it starts to have human-like qualities, well, then you get into a whole other ballgame with that. Right, and that's, I think we'll be exploring the series also. Why are they here, and what is, what's behind their purpose? Which, And you're working with two great producers also. Yes. Who have a list of credentials. Heroes. Right. Battlestar Galactica. Smallville. Smallville. I mean... I know. They're such great guys, too. Uh, Mark Verheiden and Greg right. Beeman. Yeah, they're here today. Um, I love them both. They're, they couldn't be. They're so supportive and gentle and just, they're just good people. There are really good people in Hollywood. I know we, people think we're all kind of lame, but we are. there are some good people. <laughs>